Woo wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So um I had that last knife sale and a bunch of stuff went really fast. And I started thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I feel really bad about doing these like flogging up the airwaves with knife sales. It's gotta get be pretty getting boring at this point. But then I realized people are buying every time I do it, so they're getting really good deals. So my <laughs> I guess it's worth it because people are getting some really good deals. So I only have three left from the last gathering. I have this Steel Warrior um, for 30 bucks, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this to 25 25 for the Steel Warrior. I won't go lower than that. That's for damn sure. Um, this thing is really nice. Plus, I have to pay to ship it. Um, so uh, 25 bucks for the Steel Warrior. This is a sweet hunting knife. I actually really like it. That's why I bought it in the first place. I thought it was sweet, um, but it's really nice. So 25 bucks um, takes that guy home, and that's a, a really great deal. I still have oh, the um, brand new, brand new. This one's never been used. Um, it's the Off Grid Stinger XL, and I have it going for 90 bucks. If you look up the price on that, that is a really good deal for a brand new one. This is a brand new one. So 90 bucks for the Stinger XL from Off Grid. You don't get much action much better than that. For this is the last one out of that group, I believe it was 65. I have this going for, and this is another brand spanking new knife. Never used. Um, Kubi Sicario. Um, so I have that. I was going to do some videos yesterday on some different knives, but I got real dizzy, <laughs> so and I couldn't feel my fingers. So all I did was a, a knife sale yesterday, and at one point I had a knife down here, and with without the blood going through my body, um, sometimes I lose like feeling in my fingers, and I looked down at one point, and I had my finger in the tip of the knife, not this one, a different one, the one that I reviewed today. Um, an awesome knife as a matter of fact if you haven't checked out this review um i, I always forget the name because it's crazy uh takumi tuck um this knife right here is super dope i just dropped a review on this it's not for sale this knife is awesome um but i just i did a review this was sitting on my on my lap while i was setting things up and whatnot and i put my finger into the tip and i didn't notice at first and then i could feel something weird and i didn't figure out and so i like jumped my hand up <laughs> but it all gets better from here so that's why i didn't do a bunch of videos yesterday and I, all i did is is put out some knives either yesterday or the day before whatever it was but um that's why so this 65 for a brand spanking new sicario that is more than well worth it this one abkt it does it does have a little rattle in it but this one is pretty sweet. Um, what's it called? I don't know, because I forget. Um, ABKT. Oh, the Shadow Predator. Um, I'm going to do this for... I have it for 35 But I know even though it clicks in, and that's not going anywhere, because it makes a rattle, that's going to drive some people away. I had it set up for um, Scout Carry. Uh, but... This thing, just that baby rattle, turns people off. They think it means something. If I wanted, I could literally just put this by the stove, heat it up under the flame, and then squeeze it, and that would stop. Some people are bothered by that kind of thing. So instead of 35, ABKT Shadow Predator for 30 bucks. This is a really nice knife. Really, really nice knife. Um, speaking of really, really nice knife... Ooh, Spider-Co time. Um, this is the Spider-Co Bow River. This knife is super most excellente. Um, this is actually a really, really nice knife. Um, beautiful leather sheath. Uh, this one's really, really good. And I have it going for 45 bucks for the Bow River. So if you want a Spider-Co Bow River, let me know. Um, and don't don't buy before contact me because it might <laughs> things could get sold and what some people do is they're like hey i just put the money in your account but i gotta make sure it's still available um so contact me here first or email me 
Donnie B all day, D O N N I E B all day at gmail.com. We can get it all straightened out. Next. Oh, man. The Shasta McNasty. Probably one of the craziest karambits out there. Not only is it just big, but it looks like a raptor nail. You know what I mean? Um, so I have the Shasta McNasty um, going for 30 bucks. 30 dollars for the shasta mcnasty i'm not gonna lie it takes a little bit of right there i had to get used to the angle i haven't taken this out in a very long time but um this thing is kind of crazy it does have a little rattle in there but again who cares it locks in real well um but check that out man 30 bucks for the shasta mcnasty and that thing is pretty mcnasty i'm not gonna lie to you um i have a couple more one of them, one of them, one of them you're going to love. But this one, this is the Damascus. Beautiful. Um, this is the Damascus War Club. And um, this thing's pretty cool. It does come with a leather sheath. Uh, and I'm going to let this go for 45 bucks. This is actually super, super nice. I think they did a great job on this. Um, it was made by uh, Right Edge. And this thing is awesome. You can you can belt carry it. Uh, it's pretty pretty sweet. But the Damascus blade on that makes it pop. It's just super nice. Forty five dollars, and that's going to cost me like twenty bucks a ship. So you're getting a great deal, like literally a great deal. All right. Speaking of great deal, um, on the last sale, and there's only two more things, even though this one is packed. The last time I did like a bundle deal. And somebody soaked it up right away because I think they get the value. Um, I have uh, seven knives and I'll show you all of them. Basically what I want to do is I had a bunch of knives sitting around and I have after this, I think I have two more bundles. I do. I have two more bundles and every one of them has like diff something different in the bundle um, where you're going to get something that's kind of super crappy. You know what I mean? But it's still a knife. It still cuts. And then you're going to get like mid-range stuff. And then, you know, I mean, so, but all in all, it's a better value than what you're paying. And I will show you as far as like super crappy, but still knives. You get this frost cutlery beater right here. And these are good because they're good like truck knives, fishing bag knives, just getaway bag. You could throw them if you have a couple different go bags. Um, you put one in there. That's what these are really good for because you don't care if you lose it. You don't care what happens to it. They're, you see these in $5 bins all the time. So there's that one. And the other um, really super cheap one would be this one. And it's another Frost Cutlery $5 bin knife. And then you have this one. That is the last of those $5 bin knives. Um... And it's just it just is what it is. There's nothing great about it. They're they're just extra cutters, just extra cutters. So right there, you have those three. Then I'm gonna throw in a slip joint. And for I mean I'm a I was a mason, so you have this George Washington. And George Washington came to my house once as general and once as president. So I had to get the George Washington mason knife. But this is a slip joint, um, nice and tight. Bam. It really, really snaps in there. But this is pretty sweet. This is a pretty sweet little knife. So I have that. Um, that's going to go in the bundle. That's blade number four. Um, I have an m -Tech. Boop. And you see these at gas stations all the time for like anywhere between 15 and 30 bucks just for the just for the m -Techs. Usually like you'll see them for like $29.95 at the gas station. But um, I got this guy right here. Again, it's a working knife. It's a cutter. It's going to open, close, lock, cut, do everything you ask to do. Um, and it's spring assisted. So you can get a nice little pop out of it. Um, but that is going in there. Next. Ta-da! I'm throwing in a Shrade. Uncle Henry um, Trapper Hunter. Now this one has a little bit of play in the blade. But it holds up the lock. It's still sharp. It's still a nice knife, and it'll still go anywhere you need it to do, do whatever you need it to do. Um, just because they're a little wobbly doesn't mean anything. I could literally take a little peen and hit that little pin and tighten it up, 
I just haven't cared and that's why it's still like that because it's just a good little knife. This is a really good little knife. Um, so that is going in there. Woo, almost got myself. That clothes is nice. And the last one is going to be this scalpel knife. It's the only one that doesn't close, but it's a ring knife. Um, a little scalpel knife. These are great little cutters for all kinds of stuff, especially if you're doing like hunting, you're getting some game, boop, 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 and you need to, um, it, it, you need to rip that flesh, start doing all that. This one actually comes clipped. Not so bad. That's going in there. So you have seven knives in that package and I'm going to do the whole thing for 30 bucks. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Um, so 30 bucks for all of it. You get all of those for one low, low price of $30. Uh, so all seven of these will go in a bag for 30 bucks. Um, that is fantastic. That's been pretty popular, so I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I had the ability to make four sets. Okay, so for the last one, this is really nice. This is really nice. I'm talking like S35 VN type really nice. I'm talking, oh, you heard that. That's the Cold Steel SR1. That is the Cold Steel SR1. This is a no-nonsense, badass, serious knife. For those of you who know this blade, you know the... SR1 is blurry, but that's yeah, S35 area. S35 VN. This knife is serious. It is just a badass. I got this for 140 going out. Um, this right here is awesome. This right here is freaking awesome. So you have the bundle for 30 for 140. You got the SR1 for 90. You got the off grid Stinger XL. You got the Bow River. Um, from Spider Co. for 45, uh, 25 for the Steel Warrior, uh, 65 for the Yabba Dabba Doo, uh, Kubi Sicario, and 30 for the Shasta McNasty, and the ABKT. I think I lowered it to whatever I lowered it to. Um, ABKT, yeah, I lowered it from 35 to 30. So that's what's going out for this next group. Jump on them. I got some crazy knives going out. Oh, and this guy right here, the War Club for 45. Ooh. Um, well, we got some crazy cool knives coming up. I'm going to show you one that's coming up. Just not yet, but damn. Damn, that's Kaufer right there. This is um, super rare. Super, super rare. The Signature Edition, Amos Gomez beautiful stag hen and rooster made in spain one of the real ones this knife is awesome um but i got that one going out soon i actually have another one too another one that's hooked up to some ammunition um oh yeah so this is going to be going out again this is another hen and rooster just another great piece so this will be going out pretty soon um, if you guys have interest in those, let me know and I'll give you a price before I even put them out. So that's it. I am Donnie B all day. Till next video.